Today I am sharing with you some really fun ways to repurpose old books, whether you want to pick up some inexpensive ones at the Dollar Tree that you're not really interested in, or you want to save some that you're about to throw out or donate. Here are some really fun ideas that you can put them to good use. Please leave me a big thumbs up and let's get on into it. Okay, so first off for the first book hack, I'm actually going to be building a little plant stand or little display case for some of the most adorable little plants I found at Dollar Tree. Now, if you can't find these $1.25 MDF books that I'm going to be using as crates, then you can just use the normal crates. They're just a little bit smaller and you can like face the um, outside decor onto the inside so you're not going to be able to tell and you can cover all sides with the book paper if you want to. But for these, I have these large MDF books that I took off all of the decor or the little beads and ribbon on the outside. Go ahead and glue three of them together. This is going to make the top piece. I go ahead and repeat this exact same step and then glue both sections together. So I have six pieces. It's going to be able to house six mini little plants and going to look really adorable. I go ahead and attach these two together and then give this a coat of black spray paint. After I got all of these attached, I really wanted to be able to trace a book so I had a nice template. So luckily I had an extra one. I go ahead and just trace that on a piece of old book paper. If you didn't want to destroy any books, you can just print out like any kind of script paper or Hobby Lobby has a scrapbooking paper that looks like it's from books or a little script on it. Some of them look really fun. You could use any paper that you like here, but this is a really cool idea. I love the look of using just like text in the backing. Now I did kind of like watch what it said, um, but nobody is ever gonna pay attention to what it says. But I go ahead and just attach these down with some glue sticks, make sure it's nice and secure in the back. If you want to, you could do a layer of Mod Podge. I'm gonna leave it as is so it's not super shiny and you won't see any brush strokes. But these are my favorite little plants at Dollar tree has out right now they are in this gorgeous little concrete planter i go ahead and just set them in there putting the taller ones in the middle and this is just the most fun way to display them you could even trade these out for real succulents and just kind of have like a little indoor garden Okay, so I found this frame in the Dollar Tree. It holds three four by six photos, but we are going to dress this up with some of our book pages. So I start by removing the backing and go ahead and just use the mat. Now you could take the mat out and paint it a different color if that's what you like. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is, but putting the book pages on both sides. I love making over picture frames. I just feel like it turns it into more decorative art than just putting three photos in here and making it super busy. I just use hot glue to attach these to the front. And then I have this thankful sticker that I found at Dollar Tree. It has these little greenery pieces in, but you could use any sticker or rub on transfer. I'm applying these to the edges. And then I really like the look of the book pages. So I decided to go ahead and add that to the center before adding in my photo. I changed my picture into black and white just so it had more of like a decorative look and it wasn't like super the girls had on like Easter colors so I didn't want it to be like super bright and not match the aesthetic of the frame so I go ahead and put that in the middle push the little tongs down in the back and just display this I think it is really cute this would make a great gift idea but really fun to put together Okay, so I shared a glassware hack where you can actually stack vases inside of each other. So I thought it would be fun to take this idea and apply it with the book pages. So once again, just taking a little votive candles and gluing it down into these bubble vases and then taking some more book pages, going ahead and cutting them down into strips and then kind of pushing them in between the glass pieces. So it makes a really fun design. 
And now you can add in any plants that you want. I'm just using the ones that I originally put in these vases, but I think they're really cute. The book pages add just a little fun something and would be really cute in like a little reading nook. Okay, so I was loving using all of these pages torn out, so I wanted to Mod Podge them onto a canvas. So I picked the largest canvas that Dollar Tree had to offer, and it's this really thin one, so I wanted to build a frame for it. But I go ahead and just apply Mod Podge to the entire page, and then Mod Podge it down. Now, I just went ahead and applied it to the entire page on every piece, even the pieces I barely did, because I didn't want to have to worry about any of it peeling up or not getting glue underneath all the pages, but go ahead and just kind of turn them different directions to make them look like they're kind of thrown on there. After this dried and hardened, I went ahead and just barely trimmed around the edges and then used a, a piece of sandpaper to just pull it over the edges and this just makes it have a nice smooth edge so I'm able to pull the excess off. And then using some Dollar Tree wood, I decided to go ahead and build a frame. This stain color is Verathane Western Oak. It's just like the perfect darker color. I really like it because it has more like gray tones than orange tones. I completely cover the frame and then go ahead and wipe it away. After letting that dry, I'm attaching the canvas to the frame since it doesn't have a back. I'm using popsicle sticks to do this. I just hot glue them over the edge of both. And then I'm using this large black home sign from the Dollar Tree. And then using my Cricut, I cut out with vinyl is my favorite place to be. I love mixing like materials like this whenever I'm making signs. It just really adds depth. And I love how like the mixing fonts and the size of fonts all looks. So using my transfer tape, I go ahead, cut that out and transfer it to the paper. I actually worried that the transfer tape would stick to this book paper, but maybe since it has a little bit of Mod Podge on the top, I was able to pull it off pretty easily. I was pretty shocked and then glued the home sign down. But this is how it came out. I think it's really cute. It's a really fun, large piece that would look gorgeous displayed with a lot of like fake plants. The next project, I'm actually putting succulents inside the book. This is one of my favorite projects ever. I feel like it's so simple to do, but it's so gorgeous. Once again, like on a bookshelf or with fake plants, I feel like this would be so pretty. But I am using an older book. I tried to get one that was pretty plain on the outside. And then using one of these Dollar Tree pieces of wood, I actually flipped it upside down so I wouldn't have any of the routed parts showing. But glue that in the page and this is going to hold up that top flap. You can see that the pages are trying to fall forward so I glue those together as well. Cover the wood with some moss. This was weird gross moss that actually kind of turned my fingers green so if you find something a little better quality you might want to look into that this is just from the dollar tree in like the summer moss packs but go ahead and cover up the wood and then start adding in my succulents If you wanted to take the time, you could paint the wood piece green just to get it to blend in a tad more, but I'm going to be covering this up so much, I felt like it would be fine. I started putting in the succulents. I love these purple succulents from the Dollar Tree. I feel like it just adds a perfect pop of color, especially on like a little whimsical piece like this. I feel like it looks so nice with a little turquoise color and then cutting up some of these little hanging succulents. I actually find these at Walmart a lot of the times. So they're a little bit more expensive, but I feel like they're very lifelike and they just add so much life to this and looks like it is growing out from underneath. And then I had a tiny little 
bouquet of succulents so I cut the little pieces off just so I had um, some small pieces to tuck in I feel like it looks more like a bouquet than just random succulents sitting in a book but I love how this come together the perfect little side table decor but looks really cute just sitting on a shelf In addition to sharing all of these fun book DIYs, I had to share this adorable little bookend that I made. I think it's the cutest thing. I picked up two of these little wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree. I go ahead and sand them down. They were a little bit rough on the edges. And then I'm going to attach these with a heart. Now Dollar Tree sells hearts year round. This is actually a craft I made back around Valentine's Day so it's easier to find hearts. But they do have wooden hearts just like in the store. Hold it together and make sure it's going to set nice and flush. But for this I I'm using mineral color chalk paint and just kind of roughly go over the wood and let this completely dry. This heart had some kind of paper over the top of it and a lot of times whenever I see this I like to take a damp paper towel or maybe a wet washcloth and just kind of soak it so then you can peel it up. Now sometimes you have to do this in a few steps. Go ahead and peel away the paper that is wet and then apply the wet cloth back on top and do it some more or you can just continue to scrape and sand it down. Now it was time to attach these book ends together. So I go ahead and glue one on top of the other and then set the heart snugly inside. I decided to leave the heart plain. I just loved how it looked with the um, plain heart, just the MDF even that's behind it. Coordinates and matches. You can tell I'm going with more of a neutral theme, but let this completely cool off and set it with some fun books. It looks really, really cute. Just a fun piece you can use year round. <music> 